What's impressed you most about Joey Powell? Uh, well, <clears throat> mate, I think just his attitude. You know what I mean? The energy. And you can really see a change in him from when he first came into the camp last year where he did said he thought it was a G up, right? <laughs> and and, uh, and that's would credit to... Would have been a good G up though, wouldn't it? It would have been a good G up. <laughs> and I think that's credit to Larkham, you know what I mean? He saw something in the kid and uh, that he really liked and he hasn't let him down. He, and he's had the opportunity, unfortunately, for an injury to another player. And he went up and took his opportunity with both hands. You, you've had one camp this year with about 50-odd players and you're catching up with the States individually. Can anyone make the squad from outside that 50? Is that yes, still possible? For sure. Yeah. And yeah, you've seen no, guys no. outside the squad that you're yeah, liking? Yeah, I have, actually. And uh, it's, it's interesting, you know, the dynamic that goes on. The, the, it's, not a, um, it's not a filtering process where we say, right, OK, you guys, now it's got to be from you. And if we don't create the environment where anyone can feel like they can get picked, then, um, then we're, we're doing ourselves a disservice. And maybe Joe, who came last year from totally outside, made other people think, well, yeah, maybe I'm a chance as well. And now, this year, he's backed it up with performance that, like you said, I know Nick's already picked the Wallaby team because he has as a Wallaby already. <laughs> but uh, Actually, but, if you uh, stick around, we're going to pick the back row. <laughs> yeah, okay, no again. worries. Yeah. But uh, he, he's a good, very, very good chance. His form's been excellent. Check what involvement are guys like Kirtley Beale and, uh, and Will Guinea are going to have in June. Uh, I think um, <clears throat> that Guinea is, um, is likely to come home for the series. I think he's very eager. He, I asked him about, you know, do you want to have a break, whatever, and he's uh, more knocking the door down to come back. Uh, I'll just wait and see, because they'll be out, you know, in a, in, a, in a week or two after some preliminary playoffs for the European Championship. At Beal, he's got a longer road to travel. He's got some big games coming up, finals, etc. He's off the back of his patella injury as well. So I'll make sure we'll get a full um, medical on him before we make a decision of whether he plays in June or not. Pretty amazing for Kirtley too. I noticed um, it came up on, somehow, I don't know, on a Facebook feed yesterday. It was um, a year to the day, I think, yesterday or the day before, since he did his um, patella. So he was stalking his Facebook. Yeah, you? OK. No, <laughs> you got me. But um, I mean, it's been a hell of a year, what he's managed to achieve. Yeah, he's, I think <clears throat> he's done a lot of things off the field. But when you talk to him now, there's a different tone in his voice, you know what I mean? I think he knows he's coming back for a specific reason. Uh, that's the decision he made, you know. He made a, a, that sacrifice to come back and play for, you know, TARS and for Australia. And, uh, and it's going to be great to have him back.